How's it going guys and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be checking out the location of all the Fion Vestige parts as well as the core itself. So let's jump straight into it. All of them are going to be located inside the Ridge of Frozen Souls. Starting out from the first missile in the area called the Ridge of Frozen Souls Entrance, we're going to continue up the hill, the only pathway we really can. As usual, be careful with the enemies. I've taken the liberty of killing them on my playthrough just to make sure they don't get in the way. This is the area where we want to be in, where we can see this frozen truck. Once we see this landmark, we want to look over the cliff to the left-hand side and simply drop down to the platforms below. Here we can find the Fion Vestige Part A. Now that we've picked that up, drop down again and continue the pathway until we get to the ladder. At the top of the ladder, we'll be able to find a rotten missile, as well as a gate that once opened will serve as a shortcut back to the first corner of the hill we was on previously. Now that we're back here, continue climbing up the hill until we get to the truck again. However, this time we want to continue climbing instead of jumping off to the left. And shortly after, we'll get to the detour where if we turn left, we'll be able to find the Iceless Fool's Missile. However, instead of taking that path, we're going to continue going straight ahead until the end of the cliff. Here we're going to find part B of the Fiant Vestige. For part C, we're going to be parting from the Iceless Fool's Missile, which is the second one in the ridge area. And we're going to venture into the cave just to the right of the missile that goes downwards. Being careful of the spiky ball, we want to continue descending through the cave until we get to the section where we have the option of either going right across the bridge or turning left to go out into the open again. Here we're going to take the left pathway and then left once again outside the cave. We'll see two enemies next to the edge of the cliff. Once we kill them, we'll be able to pick up Vestige Part C. Now the fourth and final part of the Fion Vestige is going to be part D, which we're going to be parting from the Snow Field Summit. From this missile, it's very straightforward. Simply descend straight down the middle pathway until we get to this broken building. And just to the left of this cracked wall, we'll be able to find part D. So that is the location of all four parts of the Fion Vestige. Now the Fion Vestige core is what we need to actually use this blood code. Is, however, missable. And unfortunately, in this playthrough, I did actually miss it. All you need to do to make sure this doesn't happen to you is actually repair all of the Fion Vestige pieces by using the parts you've collected. That means part A, B, C, and D. Make sure you actually repair those at any of the Whitehead NPCs before you defeat the boss of this area. And that way, after you defeat the boss and watch in the cutscene, you'll be able to trigger the command called Restore Memory in the boss room itself before you leave. This will grant you the core and the blood code of the Fion Vestige. So all that's left to do now is go back to the home base and check out what gifts we can unlock by using these vestige parts. First up, for Fion Vestige Part A and Part B combined, we can create Frost Weapon, which temporarily adds ice damage to you and your partner's current weapons. And then combining Part C and D, we can create the Fion Vestige Number 4, which will allow us to use Focus Guard, which increases weapon defense against physical attacks while you are focused. So that's everything we need to know relating to the Fion Vestige in Code Vein. I hope you did find this video helpful, guys. If you did, don't forget to thumbs up button and subscribe for more content coming very soon. And we'll see you next time.